Hi everyone, my name's Andy with Hopewell Health Centers and I'll be presenting Excuse versus Explanation 3 from Swamp School. So today we're going to be talking about some of the different behaviors that we might see in our friends that we don't understand or that sometimes seem a little bit confusing to us. So I have a friend here and he has a really interesting story to tell you guys. If you can sing and help him come out, that would be awesome. Okay, sing with me. Bubbles, bubbles, please come out. We want to see you. Bubbles, bubbles, please come out. It's time for swamp school. Hey, everyone! Hi, Bubbles, you're so excited. Uh, let's take a deep breath, come on. Good job. Now, Bubbles, I know you have something to tell me today, don't you? Yes. Well, today in class, Rocket was yelling and laying on the floor. What do you mean he was yelling and laying on the floor? Yeah, someone said he was throwing a tantrum. He looked like this. Oh, wow. That's really strange. What do you think was going on? I'm not really sure. It was time for cleanup, and he laid down on the floor with all the blocks and started crying really loud and yelling that he didn't want to clean up. Sounded like Rocket was really sad that it was time to stop playing, or maybe he was mad that it was time to clean up. Either way, it's not okay to lay down on the floor and cry. Yeah, he built some pretty cool towers with the blocks. Maybe he was sad he had to tear them down at cleanup time. I wish you would just tell the teacher, though. When he lay down on the floor, no one could sit down for group time. And the teacher had to take him away, and we didn't get to sing any songs. Oh, Bubbles, I'm sorry that you didn't get to have a chance to sing. I think you're right. Rocket was sad. Sometimes when people have a strong feeling, they lose control of their bodies. Was it okay for Rocket to lay on the floor and cry, though? No, it was not okay. But at least now we know why he did that, why he laid down, because he was sad. He was sad that he had to clean up. It's not okay, but now we know. So today we're gonna to keep talking about the difference between something being not okay for someone to do, but also why they might be doing that. So I'm gonna show you a card. And what is this girl doing? She's sitting down on the ground and yelling and crying. That's kind of like what Rocket was doing today when it was cleanup time. Is it okay to lay on the ground and kick your legs and make noises? No, it's not okay. But why might she be doing it? She might be hurt or trying to get somebody to notice her. Yeah, that's a really good point. Is it okay to do this, even if you said the person's name a bunch of times? No, it's not okay. But we know why people do this sometimes. Okay, here's another one. Is it okay to cry and scream in class? Is it okay to throw toys in class? No, it's not okay. And we know that's not okay. But why do you think the student is doing that? Maybe he's sad or maybe he's mad that someone took a toy away from him and he doesn't want to stop playing. It looks to me like it's time for cleanup for him and he's not really having it. Yeah, that's exactly what happened today during class. So, 
we know that it's not okay for somebody to throw a tantrum and we know that it's not okay for somebody to fight when they don't get their way or when they're upset or mad but we should still try to figure out why they're doing it it's important to understand the reasons behind a, a tantrum sometimes because maybe the person's hurt or maybe they're just sad and mad and they don't really know how to control their emotions but we do we know that it's when it's time to calm down, we take deep breaths. Instead of getting really angry and upset and throwing a tantrum. Yeah, that's right. And I know next time Bubbles is in class, he'll want to get a chance to sing during group time. So let's all be respectful and be kind to one another and think about each other. Thanks for joining me today. Me and Bubbles had such a good time with you guys and he was really happy to get that off his chest. Yeah, I was really excited to talk to you guys today. Thank you so much. If you're interested in more video lessons, check out Hopewell Health Centers on Facebook and YouTube. You can also email ecp at hopewellhealth.org for access to Swamp School training opportunities, curriculum, and materials. Thanks guys.